Welcome back. And today, one of my favorite scripts that I've ever written to uh, hack Google Sheets. 3D references are referencing the same cell on multiple sheets. So instead of just saying sheet one, A1 through A5, we're actually looking for A1 on multiple sheets. Here's my setup. I have sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, sheet four, all with some number value in A1. That's just my setup. Obviously, make that to whatever your needs are. This could very easily be a sales tracker, right? We have four salespeople or January through April or some other figure with the same format so that the same type of data is in the same spot in every sheet. Now, I want all of those and I want to sum them all. I want to get the average. I want to get the maximum value of all of those sheets. Here's the standard way to do it. I'm gonna call the sum action, the sum function, and I'm going to call it on every single reference. Sheet 1A1, sheet 2A1, sheet 3A1, sheet 4A1. This gets very tedious, especially if you're adding or removing sheets frequently. And it's even easy to just fat finger something and mess up the formula completely. Even while I was writing this, I accidentally wrote this, sheet 2A2. Wow, sheet two has 250. That's 250 over 599. If I miss that, well, that's that's a huge mistake. That doesn't work, right? We need to have this exact, we need to have this easy to use. There is an easier way, so long as this is a repetitive task. That's one of the best times to use scripting is when it's a repetitive task or something that would be time consuming to set up every time. In the situation I described to multiple salespeople, this may be a great solution because every time you add or remove a salesperson, you don't have to go update every single reference. You can just ha update one reference and it'll run all at once. So again, we're looking to consolidate this all together. It does need to be scripted, but that's what we do. Let's walk through the 3D sum. Actually, let's start by just walking through the process to make this work. I have sheet one, sheet two, sheet three, sheet four. I wanna get A1 from each of those. Easiest way I'm gonna do that is to just loop through the sheets, taking A1 or whatever range I put in and getting that value for every one of them. Now on my 3D sum. First here, I do wanna point out you cannot start a JavaScript function with a number. So I cannot just call this 3D sum. It's not gonna work. So that's why I have this little underscore here. I just need some special character that's gonna be easy to use. So the range I'm expecting to pass in is going to look like a string, sheet one through Sheet four, A1. Let's go look at that. Because obviously I do have this written already. So here's what my formula is expecting to take. Sheet one sheet through sheet four, A1. I can actually get rid of that. So that's what I'm looking for. So to make this work, first we do have to take whatever the past variable is and actually get that into the script. You can call it otherwise, but I like to do this. All of the sheets, I split the in range. So the in range is whatever I put in and I am splitting that by the colon character. So then I'm going to end up with an array that holds sheet one, comma, sheet four, A1. That's what it's gonna look like. Next, I want the range. A1, A5, B72, whatever that is. So the range is the second value in the array. Remember that JavaScript arrays are zero indexed. So this is index zero, this is index one. So the range is index one, this, split by the exclamation mark. 
Now my range is going to be another array. And it's going to look like that. To make this simple, I went ahead and assigned the second index in sheets to range zero. So basically I took this and put it here so that I don't have that exclamation mark A1 sitting in my sheets array. And then I said that range is equal simply to whatever's in the second variable of range, the second index of range, A1. Okay. Then I got all of the sheets in the spreadsheet and then loop through each of them and basically just said that the out variable as I'm looping through, if the sheet name is between the index of this sheet and the index of this sheet, then add the value in the range to the out variable. Okay, let's, let's walk through that one more time. So for var i in, get all the sheets, index of sheets zero. So basically just set i equal to the first one. And as long as i is not equal to the last one, right? So loop through all of the sheets. Out equals out plus, because we want to maintain that, which is why we did instantiated it as zero back here. Out equals out plus the actual integer value, parse int the actual integer value, at spreadsheet, get all of the sheets, i, because we're getting the, uh, the sheets between these, between sheet one and sheet four, get the range, uh, get the full range, get the value. And that's how we come up with this. And we can watch it run just to make sure that's actually correct. And here it does equal the same thing. And that's also why I wrote these other ones so that we can see it is operating fully. It's not just something I hard coded. So if I'm doing all of the sheets or all of the sheets with this value, one through four, two through four, and then just three and four, and I did the same thing for average, max, min, and count. So for the average, it gets the value and then at the end divides the value by the number of sheets. For the max, if it's greater, add it. If it's less, replace it and count is just incrementing the out variable itself. As always, I'm happy to answer any questions here on the official Google forums, or you can email me as well. I look forward to hearing from you. I hope this was helpful.